Hi everyone, my name is Barbara. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get around a problem that I think you probably have, and I know I have, and I have many a time, locking yourself out of your worksheet or your workbook. You need to update it and you've forgotten the password. Well, today I'm going to show you how to get around that. Let's get started. So this is the example we're working with. It is my order form for the excellent food company. And what I want, what I want to do is I want to update this logo and I also want to remove this worksheet here to make things look a little neater. But as you can see, I'm already getting some errors here because I have these cells locked and I also have protected the workbook. So I can't make any changes to the structure of it, but I can't remember the password. So we're in a bit of trouble. But we're not really because there is a way around both of these things. So if you need to see if your Excel workbook has protection on it, if you go to the review tab and if you click on here, unprotect sheet, it'll prompt for a password. And with regards to the workbook, it will prompt for a password also. So what do we do? Well, first of all, I'm just going to shut down this. And the second thing I'm going to do is make a copy of my workbook. Always good practice to do that if you're going to be working on something you haven't done before or if it's an important document. We're going to do something a little bit different here and I need to see the file extension because we're going to actually change the file extension on this file. So if I go to view, show and file name extensions, I can see correctly that this is an Excel SX file. So what we want to do is actually rename this file and it's the extension I want to change to dot zip. You'll get a warning to say it's going to become unstable. We're OK. Go ahead and accept this. And that changes this file to a zipped file. OK, so I'm working on my copy of my original workbook and it's called dot zip now. So let's double click and open it. And what you'll find is all the different components of that Excel workbook go into Excel and we actually are looking at the worksheets at the moment because there's protection on sheet one, which I want to remove. So I'll click worksheets. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a copy. I'm going to take a copy of the XML file for sheet one and I'm just going to pop that on the desktop to work with, to work with. I'm going to open that with Notepad. You maybe didn't expect to see all of that code, but we're only going to deal with one very small part of it. And if your file looks a little bit more like this when you open it, go to the View menu and hit Word Wrap, and it should be a lot easier to deal with. So hit Control F, and the first thing we need to do is find the area of the worksheet that's protected. We can do this by hitting Control F and typing sheet protection. And that takes us to this area here. So between these two brackets, so this is the area that we need to remove to remove the worksheet protection. Just to point out, if you want to put this worksheet protection back, just take a note of where this is and you can paste it somewhere and pop it back in. I'm happy enough to delete it. I deleted that protection and then I'm just going to hit file and save. Let's X out of it. I'm then going to put this back into The XML file. It of course gives us a, a warning that I'm going to copy and replace the file that's already there. I'm happy to do that. Let's just hit OK. So that should have taken the protection off sheet one. We've also got the protection on the actual structure of the workbook because I wanted to be able to delete sheet two. So we can do the same thing. It's actually this file here, workbook. There's only one of those because this is to do with the workbook as opposed to the worksheets, which there could be multiples of. So let's just take a copy of this and pop this on the desktop. Let's open that with Notepad again. Let's make it a bit bigger and hit Control F. 
um, instead of sheet protection, it's work week protection. And that takes us to this area. It's a similar process as before. You're looking for the start of the bracket and then the end of the bracket for the workbook protection. I'm happy enough to delete that. As I say, if you want to save that and pop that right back where you found it, once you've made your changes, feel free to do so. Let's save that, X out. And again, let's put this back into our Excel file, copy and replace. Let's go back to the file. The last thing we need to do is rename this back to an Excel SX. Hit it. Yes, I'm happy to do that. So here's the moment of truth. So the first thing I wanted to do is change this header. So if I click into it now, it's worked. I can actually change that. That was the area of the protection. Now let's go to the worksheet and I want to delete it or I can add one in. So that's worked too. So let's just save that for now and X out of it. If I just show the original again, I couldn't go in and let's just open up the copy where we adjusted those files. I can easily go in and I can edit this area. So that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you have forgotten your passwords for your worksheets or your workbook protection, if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, ask a question. I answer all questions in the comments below and consider subscribing. It really does help the channel. Hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when I record a new video. Hopefully see you next time. Thanks for watching.